listen i'm sorry okay if you hear birds chirping crackheads fighting police sirens don't worry it's just brooklyn y'all i'm in the building what is up guys it is your girl boss evans here and i'm back again with another video um update on my life I got two new tattoos this is one right here and there's one on the back of my neck you can't see that one but yeah I got two new tattoos and I'm just been feeling really spontaneous lately so that's what I did and right now I have on no makeup if you guys want to see my skincare routine it will be down in the description as well as my snapchat Instagram and Facebook you guys can follow me there for all new updates and let's get into this video so today I'm going to be basically talking to you guys about, <laughs> I'm sorry, every time I think about this story, it's just so funny. Today we're going to be talking, it's a story time, you guys love the story time on my channel the last time, so I'm going to do another one. I'm going to be telling you guys about the time that me and my best friend almost killed this old lady. <laughs> I know it sounds crazy but let's get into this video so this is back i believe in like last june june of 2017 you know the summer had just started or whatever and my best friend she lives upstate but she was staying with me for the summertime in brooklyn and she lived in brooklyn before so she basically knew everybody so it was a nice summer night it was like <clears throat> let me paint the picture for you it was june 19 i'm just making up a date it was june 19th at 9 35 p.m in crown heights brooklyn <laughs> so it was late at night or whatever and me and my best friend we just wanted to go outside and sit on my stoop like everyone does in brooklyn on a nice night and just you know people watch talk to my neighbors or whatever so we decided to go outside and just chill so we're on my stoop and i think we were eating i think we were eating popcorn and we had some long island iced tea so you know we were drinking a little bit and the drinks were already done so we were just chilling and we were just talking and i saw my next door neighbor okay so say this is my house there's another building and another building my next door neighbor he lived in so this is my building he didn't live in the second building he lived in the one next to it but he has family that lived in the building next to me so he came outside and he was like yo what's up i'm like what's up what's good whatever he was just like yo come on over to our stoop so we could talk and chill so we're like okay cool whatever so we went over to his stoop and we were just sitting there and we were just talking we were honestly talking about life we were talking about life we were talking about how we need to be more positive we were talking about how we need to like let go of our anger and stop being so angry like it was a really positive conversation and you know we were just talking and me and my best friend we were already like a little tipsy so we were like really getting emotional about the conversation because that was just at a point in our life where we felt like both of us needed to make a shift so like the conversation was really really important and you know we were just getting into it with my neighbor and we were just talking or whatever i've known my neighbor for a long time so we were just talking having a regular conversation whoop de doo right so about like 15 minutes into our conversation i saw mind you the stoop that we were standing in it wasn't my next door neighbors it was the one in between my house so there's my house the stoop in between that's where we were standing and my next door neighbor his stoop was next door so we were in the middle so we're talking we're having a conversation or whatever and then all i saw was this oh almost called to that all I saw was this older lady. She was old, old, but she was older. She was probably like in her 50s. And all I saw was her staring at us. Like, I think it was her son or something behind her, like a, a teenager. He was probably 11 or 12, 13, around there. And he was standing behind her, but she was having a conversation with one of the gentlemen, with my neighbor's grandfather, I believe, or his uncle. She was having a conversation with his uncle. But the whole time, she's staring at us so i'm just like okay whatever so just going back to the conversation so my next door neighbor turns around and he was like oh my gosh this is about to be a problem and i was like what do you mean he was just like nah i just know how some people are and i looked over at the lady and i guess like i picked up like my house phone is always ringing and nobody is ever home 
So, yeah. So she was talking to him and David was, David is my next door neighbor. He was just like, oh my gosh. He's just like, oh, I can't stay. He was just like, this is not going to be good. Like, I don't got time to deal with this today. And I was just like, well, what happened? So I looked over and I saw like he was kind of like, you know, like looking over at the lady. And I was just like, listen, we just had this whole conversation on positivity. We just had this whole conversation of being mellow and not letting people get to us. And he was just like, you know what? You're right. You're right. You're right. We did just have this conversation. So we went back into our conversation, right? About two minutes later two minutes later she finished her conversation and this is all we saw mind you so let me paint the picture for y'all so as we saw her finish with her conversation we were standing in the middle of the steps so what we did we all moved to the side so she could walk up the stairs so she came into the little because there's a gate and then there's stairs anyone that lives in brooklyn you know what i'm talking about so she came in and she was just like oh no 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 david you and your company is gonna have to leave like i don't understand why you guys are sitting here like what if i wanted to come home from work and sit on my stoop and y'all just sitting here y'all could take this next door to her stoop who are you talking to <laughs> who, are you, who are you talking to <laughs> who are you talking to like i'm really confused like who are you talking to so this was my perspective of it i'm just like i know how my best friend is my best friend one is very overprotective of me i've been with i've known my best friend for years like i don't even want to count how many years but i've known her for years she's a scorpio and in my head as the lady was saying this i'm just like okay you have to stay calm and you have to stay level headed because if you don't Lindsay's gonna black Lindsay's my best friend I'm like if you don't stay calm Lindsay's not gonna stay calm so I have to stay calm so after she was done with all of that I turned around and I was just like okay miss it's not a problem we will get off your stoop it's okay but I didn't like the way that you came at us that was just kind of disrespectful like we don't mind getting off your stoop and then she gonna turn around and be like, like no, what's disrespectful is me coming home from work and y'all sitting here on my stoop and da -da 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 -da, and y'all sitting here on my stoop and y'all could easily went over there. Da -da -da. So again, I was just like, I was trying everything in me. I was like, okay, nah, nah, try it again. I said, okay, miss. When I told you guys I was talking to her so calm, I was talking to her so calm because my mom, my sister, and my grandmother, I would never want anyone to disrespect them. You understand what I'm saying? So in my head, I'm just like, yo, okay, let me just chill. So again, I went at her again, and I was just like, I understand, miss. It's no problem. You're right. I do live right next door. But if you had came to us and just been like, hey, guys, you know, can you just go over to the stoop? Because I would like to sit out on my stoop at night, you know, like come home from work and sit on my stoop. Like I, I was just like, you know, you could have just came at us that way. And we would have been like, OK, no problem. Have a good night. And we would have went over to my stoop. She gonna turn around and be like, first of all, y'all wasn't even fucking invited over here. You live over there. So why, so why the fuck you over here? yo when i tell you i couldn't i couldn't no more i couldn't i was like what the fuck are you talking about miss like you really getting me tight and then all hell broke loose <laughs> as soon as i said that all hell broke loose all bets were off the table my best friend was like fuck out of here bitch what the fuck is you talking about like da -da 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 -da. she coming at you mad nice and you still sitting here being disrespectful how fucking old are you like are you dumb niggas don't want to be on your fucking stoop we were fucking invited oh yeah my best friend was going and and at that point i was just like okay me and her can't gang up on this lady so i just started laughing and i was just like lindsay like let's go like let's just go like i don't even got time for this like let's just go so lindsay was just like yeah you right you right let's just leave so we walked out of the we walked out of the 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 gates to go over to my house and she had the nerve to try to start following lindsay 
because I was in front of Lindsay. I was grabbing her, but she had the nerve to sit here and try to follow Lindsay. So Lindsay turned around and was like, what's good? Because you could get these hands too. And I'm like, Lindsay, no, I'm not about to go to jail. We both tipsy. I'm not doing it. She lives on my block. She knows where I live. Like, I'm not about to have this bitch call the fucking cops on us. Like, I'm not doing that. And she was just like, no, fuck out of here. Da, da, da. So David, mind you, my best friend is taller than me one and she has more weight on her than me i can't carry her big ass so i'm sitting here trying to pull her mind you i'm we're tipsy and i'm like yo Lindsay, come on let's go like yo i see this is why i didn't want to spaz out because i know once i spaz out you're gonna spaz out and there's no calming you down so david really had to pick her up and take her into my gate and then he closed the gate and was just like yo y'all y'all chill out y'all chill out y'all chill out so we're like okay shorty had the nerve to go put her back down and walk back over to my gate where we were and try to come into my like come into my gate where the steps were so me and Lindsay both standing up like okay what happened Lindsay's like fuck out of here you could get it i'm like miss you're really doing too much now now we're in my section and you're coming over here now you're trying to start a problem and whatever problem you have after this i'm i can't save you like you're in you're in my property now so david turned around and he was like mind you that's his family he turned around and was like yo what the fuck is good with you like do you need to hit a blunt or something like i'm not understanding like what's wrong with you like now you're doing too much they're in the gate they're calming down and you had the nerve to come over here da, 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 da. so after he blacked on her she went upstairs in her crib so we outside just talking about the shit and laughing. I put the shit on my Snapchat. I probably don't even have it on my Snap no more. But I put it on my Snapchat and the whole story or whatever. And then like a good five minutes later, David's phone rang. So he's looking at his phone and he was just like, oh, that's her daughter calling. So I was like, oh, she went home to go tell her daughter something? I'm like, I right, answer the phone, David. Answer the phone. So he answered the phone and he was like, yo, what's up, what's up, what's up, whatever. And basically her daughter was just like, you know, can you tell the girls that I'm so sorry? Like my mom was really bugging. Like, can you just tell, tell them that I'm sorry? Like, I don't know what my mom was on. Like, just tell them I apologize or whatever. So I was just like, oh, okay, cool. We appreciate that, whatever. So my cousin, this is the crazy part. My cousin came downstairs because my cousin heard all the yelling. My cousin lives on the second floor of my building. So she, my cousin is crazy. Like, she's crazy. <laughs> So she came downstairs and she was just like, what happened? So we told her the whole story that happened. And my cousin was like, nah, tell her and her daughter come outside. Like, tell them come outside. Like, what's up? I'm like, nah, her daughter, like, you know, her daughter apologized or whatever. And she was just like, yo, if I was out here, I was like, I already know. Because I cannot hold you and Lindsay back. Like, I'm trying to be at a zen place. We were just having a conversation about being peaceful. What happened to that? <laughs> so, <laughs> so after we talked to my cousin my cousin went upstairs to go grab something when i tell you guys god knows what he is doing as soon as my cousin went upstairs the lady came downstairs and she pulled david to the side she said whatever she said to david and then she came back over to us and she was just like so <clears throat> me and my best friend was just like you know what it's okay like we understand like you know all we were saying as as an adult like you should have came us at us respectfully and she was just like i understand like even though you were trying to be calm with me she was like i wasn't calm with you and she was just like you know apologetic or whatever so we're like okay it's okay no problem so as soon as she went upstairs my cousin came back downstairs and i was just like god knows what he is doing because lord and my cousin came back outside and we was like yeah the lady just came to apologize she's like fuck her apology tell her come back outside and i'm just like what a beautiful summer day <laughs> yo that day was really crazy like i just feel like i feel like if david wasn't there or you know we were on the stoop or david went to go get something or go get a glass of water or go to the store or something i feel like that would have completely went left that day and i just thank god and god knows what he be doing like my life is crazy guys <laughs> some interesting stuff be happening in my life but 
you know every time now that i see her i say hi to her i wave like you know like i said i wouldn't want anyone to disrespect my mom or my grandmother or my sister or anyone in my family so i'm not gonna do the same to you but at the end of the day you gotta give respect to get it to get it <laughs> to get it you feel me whether it be someone older than you someone younger than you you know whatever the case might be your boss like you give that respect you get it back that's that's what i learned that that's what she learned that day because i feel like she honestly thought we that we were just gonna be like oh my gosh she's yelling at us like let's go back over no and she the thing that really got me tight during that whole argument and she was just like you little ass girls you little ass girls and i'm like little girl where like i'm a whole 23 my best friend is 25 like where are we a little girl she was like you fucking teenagers like we probably looked mad young because we were really chilling that day we had on sweatpants like you know like a regular t-shirt we had our hair up so she probably thought that we were like legit teenagers she was just like you little girls need to go back to school and we're like miss we're whole grown women that pay bills <laughs> like i don't know what type of little girl you're talking about but guys respect your elders and take every situation that happens to you with caution because things could have really went left that day and i could have been sitting in a jail cell that day because the way that she was talking to us and i tried to be so calm but i just have to flip because i just feel like i'm coming at you calm but you still coming at me with mad static like you what's with the static sis like i'm not i don't get it like you just got fired or something like i don't know but that day was crazy but thank you guys so much for watching i really really do appreciate it like comment subscribe and drop any crazy stories that you've had down below and if you guys do want to see more story time on my channel like and comment down below let me know hit me up on my social media and peace and blessings until the next video